A conditore is a business that typically offers a wide variety of pastries and typically also serves as a café. These are found in many different countries including Germany, Austria, Switzerland, Denmark, Sweden, Czech Republic, Israel, and more. However the culture and function of the conditore may vary based on locations. In Germany, Austria, Switzerland and Israel it's popular custom to go to a conditore to have a cake and some coffee or hot chocolate mid-afternoon. A similar culture is present in several northern European countries influenced by central European trends, such as Denmark and Sweden however these are called conditori or café, café. In order to become a conditor, the speciality baker for a conditore, the profession in many countries requires an extensive apprenticeship or speciality training program. About The primary focus of a conditore is selling pastries, which may be made in-house or brought in from another bakery. They commonly also offer a selection of coffees, soft drinks, and many may also sell alcoholic drinks. Many larger conditore also serve ice cream and chocolates. Apart from its typical menu, a conditore chiefly differs from a restaurant in that opening hours tend to be morning and afternoon, rather than afternoon and evening. Etymology A conditore puts emphasis on the artistic aspect of the trade and, unlike a bakery, does not produce breads. The craft developed when particular bakers specialized in the creation of sweet bread to which candied fruits and other sweet ingredients were added. The origin of the word conditor the conditore's baker stems from the Latin word candier, which stands for candying of fruits. Another derivation is lot. Conditora, a, f, condio. Equals to concoct food, preservation of fruits. Conditore is the German word for a patisserie or confectionery shop. In Sweden, Norway and Denmark, the word is spelt conditori and the term conditor for a confectioner has been used since the beginning of the 18th century. Equals. Topic: History and development of the conditor. Equals. 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 Topic: Lebkuchen. Equals equals. The profession of the conditor developed from that of the baker. Once the bakers of medieval times, 15th century, mastered the art of baking bread, some started to rarefy the dough with honey, dried fruits, and spices. These specialists called themselves lebkuchler, lebkuchner, or lebzelter. They founded a guild in 1643 in the area in and around Nuremberg, Germany. At the same time, the Lebkuchen bakers ran a second trade using wax, a side product of honey. They became chandlers, supplying churches and private households with artistic candles, wax figures and pictures made of wax. They carved wooden molds themselves and used these to pour magnificent pictures made of wax. A few conditorean practiced the sophisticated art of the chandlers until recent times. The Lebkuchner were turned to confectioners later and finally became conditorean. Equals equals. Topic: Sugar and spices. Equals equals. The maritime trade brought spices and sugar from the eastern world to the famous Italian harbor towns of Genoa and Venice. Although sugar had an immense appeal, only the rich were privileged to consume it. The profession of confectioner was related to that of the pharmacist because the trade with sugar was exclusive to pharmacists. The German word confect English, confection to describe sweets stems from the language of the drug makers, which were also called confectionery. Production of marzipan in the 14th century, the Venetians introduced marzipan, a confection made from almonds, sugar and rose water, to Central Europe. Marzipan was an ideal material for molding magnificent pictures from, which were artistically painted with plant coloring and often decorated with gold leaf. Chocolate 
equals equals at the start of the 19th century, chocolate first made its way to Germany, after the ladies of the upper classes in Spain, Italy and France had long been used to a daily cup of hot chocolate. When the Dutchman Coenrod Johannes van Houten managed to press out the cocoa mass, the additional ingredients cocoa butter and cocoa powder were created. The chocolate thinned with cocoa butter was used to pour a variety of figures, and painting cakes with cocoa powder became popular. The trade of the chocolatier, a conditor specialized in working with chocolate, was born. Chocolate now played a major role in the conditore. A good example is the chocolate cake created by Franz Sacher, who was the chocolate cook for Clemens von Metternich in Vienna in 1832. <laughs> <laughs> Pastries <laughs> The abundance of sugar through the native sugar beet in the 19th century lead to the development of cakes and pastries, with focus taken off decorative art. Light sponge cakes, almond pastries, apple strudel or milk cream strudel, gugelhupf, and cream cakes were served with then-modern drinks such as coffee, tea and chocolate. Notable conditors Nicholas Appert, French inventor of food preservation Heinrich Georg Erbshauser, Munich baker and inventor of Prinzehententort See also Bakery Coffeehouse Schlagabers, Richard Strauss Ballet, set in a conditorate